Hey subbies, coming back to you with another video, and in this video, you're gonna watch my client transform. No. Wake up with a text. I'm not trying to flex. What? What? Girl, you know the rest. Bye bye. Okay, so we're just gonna get right into it. So my client gave me three bundles in a closure. Excuse my brother, he just wanted to be seen. So my client gave me three bundles in a closure. She gave me three bundles of 20 inch and an 18 inch closure to make her a wig, of course. And um, I'm just gonna go and um, in and bleach the knots of the actual closure and of the actual bundles because she wanted her hair to be um, kind of red and I told her that I'm gonna give her like some blonde highlights in the red so she loved the idea and so did I so that's what we went with now I'm just um, you know taking off the wrappers and everything um, to the hair so I can get the bleach going now I didn't take off the little band to the hair and I did that on purpose because I didn't want the hair bleached all around the exact same if I wanted the hair to be bleached all around um, at the same level of course I would have unraveled the actual bundle and um, you know um, bleach the bundle with it out the long way instead of bleaching it while still rolled up in a bundle and if you see any extra hands that's just my little cousin and my sister because they just wanted to help and they wanted to be a part of this video so bad so why not you can never have too many extra hands right <laughs> so now I'm just going in and I'm just um, bleaching the knots I used um, Kaleida colors um, bleach powder with um, 30 developer that's why you see like a kind of a blue tone and um, I'm also bleaching the hair while bleaching the knots now because I'm bleaching the hair while bleaching the knots of course the bleach on the hair is gonna have to be rinsed out when it's time to reach rinse out the bleach in the actual knots because you don't want your knots to over bleach and I just bleached the knots for about 35 minutes make sure when bleaching the knots that your powder and your developer after mixing it together it's like a toothpaste or Greek yogurt consistency you don't want it too runny because you don't want it to run through the other side and actually bleach the roots of your hair because that's another disaster within itself even though it can be fixed it just avoids any problems so just make sure that it's like a toothpaste yogurt um, Greek yogurt consistency so it doesn't um, seep through and make sure you're not pressing too hard on the lace when putting the bleach on the actual lace you don't want to be too light but you don't you also don't want to be too rough with um, pressing into the lace because it is lace so that's what I did I just um, put bleach on the tips and um, I'm gonna let that um, sit for 35 minutes and I'm gonna wash it out in 35 minutes generally is what works for me in bleaching knots some people may have a less time some people may process for less time and some people may process you know over the time but I choose 35 minutes because I use a 30 developer I never bleach knots with 40 developer so that's what works for me but you always want to keep an eye out on your closure when bleaching your closure because some closures take 35 minutes other closures take 20 you know so you just want to pay attention now I'm just going in and bleaching the actual bundle I have no specific way of bleaching the bundles I just go in with the bleach and apply it everywhere again like I said um, the reason why I'm bleaching it inside wrapped up in the bundle is because I don't want even um, bleaching if I wanted even bleaching I would unwrap the bundle and bleach so every part gets the bleach but 
this was done on purpose because I actually wanted to add in some blonde highlight tones to her red that she wanted to achieve. So yeah, um, now I'm just, you know, bleaching the bundles, the extra little hands is my cousin and my sister, and yeah, um, I'm just gonna let you guys watch the video so I don't ramble on this whole video because I know you don't want to hear me talking this whole video, but I'm just gonna, um, bleach the hair and we're gonna let that sit for like about 40 to an hour. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna wash it out now the bundles is gonna sit 40 to an hour but remember because I'm bleaching the closure hair with the closure knots I'm gonna rinse out the closure and the hair on the closure after 35 minutes of course because I don't want my knots to over bleach so everything is going to be processing for like about an hour except the closure. The closure is the only thing that's being washed out early because the knots is actually bleaching with the actual hair. Now if I wanted the bundles to be like a bright blonde, like a high level blonde, any blonde that's higher than a level 8, of course I would have need, I would have had to um, bleach the knots separate and then go back and bleach the closure because 35 minutes wouldn't have been enough time to get the hair to an high blonde if I wanted to achieve a high blonde. But because I didn't need to achieve a high blonde, it just worked out perfectly. Now I know some people, because I'm doing a red, is gonna ask why didn't I use a L'Oreal high color? And the reason why I didn't use L'Oreal high color is because she wanted a red, but she kind of wanted a red with like a cinnamon tone. So I thought that rinse would be the best way to achieve the color that she wanted because a rinse has variety of colors um, especially the adore line um, that's my favorite rinse line so um, I went ahead and I bleached the hair instead of using the L'Oreal high color and I feel like on average it's cheaper to just bleach the hair or buy um, 613 color hair with dark roots and just um, rinse the hair a color because one L'Oreal high color I live in New York so one L'Oreal high color is like about five dollars so I feel like on average it's just cheaper to buy a bucket of bleach and um, developer and just um, you know go from there and just bleach the hair now I'm just washing out the closure and um, the closure hair of course from all the bleach and I'm using my um, toning shampoo and I just let light. that sit on the actual hair. When the shampoo comes to a lather, I let that sit on the actual hair for like about five minutes. Now I'm just washing out the bleach out of the bundles. Um, and um, I just let the bleach sit for 40 minutes again on just the bundles. And as you can see, it didn't get to a high blonde because I did only bleach for like about an hour. Now, if you wanted it to get to a platinum blonde or a lighter blonde than a number 27, you would have to either double process, which means bleach twice, or you would have to use a stronger developer of bleach which would be a 40 developer but I just use a 30 developer and this was the tone um or the level that I wanted it to go up to and I'm also letting the shimmer lights um sit and process on the actual hair after I bring it to a lather on the side which is why you see the um soapy bundle on the side and I think that this shampoo is so important even if you're toning the actual hair after you bleach it 
because I feel like um, this shampoo helps the hair stay away from brassy tones and it's extra good especially if you're not toning the hair after bleaching like me like I won't be toning my hair after the bleaching so it's a high possibility that it might turn brassy because I didn't tone but because I'm using a toning shampoo it acts as kind of of the same thing so I don't have to worry about any brassy unwanted tones now if I wanted this blonde to just stay a blonde for a color, of course I would tone it and because I'm using a door rinse on top of that, I don't need to worry about that. But if you guys want a video on how I bleach and tone some blonde hair, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you leave a comment below and I'll most definitely do a video of that. I'm kind of getting the hang of the video thing so yeah um just tell me what you want to see and i will gladly make it happen for you guys now i'm going in with the two adore colors in 72 and 76 um one color is copper brown and the other one is paprika and I'm just going in and um, applying both colors in no specific way on the actual bundle. And um, I'm just, you know, brushing it in, making sure that the color is being saturated. Now the bundle is still wrapped up because again, like I said, I wanted a couple of blonde highlights in it. So I knew that if I kept it in the bundle, that it wouldn't completely be submerged in the color all the way through and that's how I achieved my blonde highlights without actually going through doing the weaving technique or the slicing technique and if you guys want a detailed video of me actually constructing a wig give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below and I will definitely do that and this is my client slaying the wig I did sew this wig on if you have any questions as far as me constructing you a wig or just regular questions you can leave a comment below or you can email me at my email in the description box don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until next time bye subbies Mwah. love you all